Hey everyone, Aria Labs here with a blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the George Gray 8700. Um, I believe that this is the brand's first diving watch. It's not a true, true diving watch in the sense that it's not water resistant to 300 meters, but it's a step in the right direction. And it's actually quite a, quite a cool piece that, that I like. Now I've been following George Gray for uh, several years now. Um, seeing their development, seeing how they've come along as a brand. And they've done some some impressive things, uh, to say the least, in terms of the, their lifespan. And this represents a, a rather good effort and uh, a, a good-looking, nice watch. So let's start with the case. It's big. This version is the black, uh, the black coated one in steel. There's two other color combinations for now, and it's large. This is a 47 millimeter wide case, which looks even larger because of this uh, crown and this sort of crown guard structure there. You have uh, the silicon straps, which are sort of uh, screwed into the side there, um, and it creates a bit of a of an extended size there. But it's quite flat underneath, and there's this nice flushness here. So even if your wrist is a little bit smaller, it's gonna it's gonna be comfortable. Um, as a dive style watch, it does have a, a rotating bezel, uh, so that's good, um, and I appreciate that. Again, I think this is a first rotating bezel um, on a watch for the brand, but I could I could be completely wrong. Um, they have a lot of watches. I'm not familiar with all of them, but this one's nice. Um, it feels good. What I think they did here is rather than have an aluminum insert, um, the bezel itself is in steel, and um, you have a loom uh, tip there, a pip in the top. See that in there? Yeah. You have the date, and you have a relatively legible dial um, with luminant, and it's a good-looking dial. You know, you have multiple layers. Um, it goes down like at least two or three layers there, and you have these larger, um, similar to how there how there was on the bezel here, these pips uh, on the hour on the hour uh, indicators there for loom, which is quite nice. And you have that sort of, uh, you know. Um, Crosshair look on the dial. Oh, it always looks cool. Crosshairs on the dial always look neat. There's not enough crosshairs on watch dials. And when you see them, they look cool. I think it was the original one. I think Tag Heuer on the one of the original Carreras had a, had a crosshair style. So there it is on the wrist. I don't have the world's biggest uh, wrist, but I can usually wear a pretty big watch. But you can tell this is about the limit of, of what I can do. But nevertheless, you still see that the strap here pretty well goes around my wrist. Not a lot of wiggle. It, it works pretty well. So I think if you have even slightly bigger wrists than me, see I'm wearing it on the very smallest uh, setting there. But it's a good looking watch. They did a nice job with the 8700. Um, again, it's 100 uh, meters uh, water resistant, which doesn't quite make it a dive watch per se, because usually you need 300 meters, but for swimming and sport activities, you're gonna be fine. They used a flat sapphire crystal, so it does have a sapphire crystal, um, which is good. Um, I would think that, I would like for them to have put a little bit more AR coating, so when you look at angles, there isn't glare, but for the most part, it's pretty good. And legibility is quite fine um, indeed. It does contain a Swiss Ronda quartz movement. Um, some George Gray watches have Japanese quartz movements. Some have Swiss, so this is among the ones that has um, that Swiss quartz movement. And price for the 8700, this particular model, is $595. And you can see the full review on a blog to watch. Thanks.